What's up everybody? It's Jay Thorpe, Flex Worker Fitness. We're here at Dan's Gym. We have another informational video for you guys. So for all three of my subscribers that I haven't been making content for, I'm gonna start making more regular content. Uh, so one of the questions I get asked a lot is if amino acids are worth it. So people come to me like, yo bro, should I get the BCAs? Uh, should I get EAAs? And I'm like, it depends. And then I try to explain it to them and then they just kind of like tune out. So we got the whiteboard. You can put it on the whiteboard. It makes it 30 times easier to understand. So let's talk about what uh, BCAs and EAAs are. So they, both classifications are amino acids. So amino acids are the building blocks of protein you'll probably have heard. Uh, different amino acids are put together to make complete blocks of protein. So whenever you have animal sources, like uh, eggs, whether it's dairy, uh, meats, you're gonna have a more complete profile of amino acids. So you're gonna have a lot more of the different EAAs and you're gonna have a lot more of the other amino acids. So the terms BCAs and EAAs, it's, it's pretty simple. So BCAs are branched chain amino acids. So if you look at the structure of the amino acid, they, they branch out. So I think that's why it's called that. I could be wrong on that part. And then EAAs are just essential amino acids. So essential amino acids are amino acids that your body cannot restructure. They, they can't break down different proteins and restructure them to get those amino acids. So you have to get them through your diet. Um, again, a lot of animal products are gonna be very high in EAAs. So that's all that is. There's nine essential amino acids. So the cool thing with these three is uh, they're not mainly broken down in the liver, they're actually broken down in the muscle. So that's why I just believed that uh, these two will actually definitely help with performance. Um, now, again, there's nine of them, essential amino acids. So <clears throat> I guess the question everybody's wondering is, should you take amino acids? Yes and no, I mean, they might be worth it for you, they might not be. Here's what would make them worth it for you. So number one, we wanna look at the benefits of them. So the benefit is they're anabolic. Now there is better ways of getting that mTOR signaling than taking BCAs and EAAs. So whey protein has been shown to be far superior to a BCAA blend and an EAA blend. And it's actually a lot cheaper, so it's cheaper the amount of uh, protein grams you're getting per pound. So you gotta factor that into it. Now, does that mean it's useless in the anabolic sense? No, not at all. Because some people, they don't like to have a meal right after they work out. They don't wanna have uh, whey protein when they work out. A lot of people will use it, utilize this intra-workout, which means during your workout. If you're sipping on a protein shake during your workout and you're going hard, you're, you're probably gonna throw it. Like, that's, that's not gonna happen. Same way as you wouldn't have steak and potatoes while you're working out. Uh, so it's not useless, you can use it in that aspect. Um, I like to drink them throughout the day just because I enjoy them. I mean, I think they taste really good. It's a good way for me to get my, my hydration in because I don't really like drinking water. I'm one of those people that doesn't like water. So for me, it's either sparkling water, coffee, or BCAs, uh, which is definitely a better alternative than people doing it through pop and juice and other things. Now, should you opt for BCAs or EAAs? If you're going for the anabolic aspect of it, definitely opt for the EAAs, because when you have a more complete um, amino acid profile with the EAAs, you're gonna signal the mTOR, but you're gonna actually prolong that. So it's gonna be far superior to use EAAs if you're doing it for the anabolic thing, which, again, you're gonna get better luck with whey protein or just food. But if you don't want to eat right after, I would recommend doing EAAs. Now, the next part is to reduce DOMS. So DOMS is delayed onset muscle soreness. That is like whenever you hit a crazy leg day, two days after you can't use the bathroom, that's DOMS. It hurts to sit down. So both of these are gonna be pretty good for that. Um, again, I personally like to opt for the EAAs as opposed to the BCAs. Now, uh, prevent muscle loss, especially while dieting. EAAs is going to be great for that because a lot of times, uh, unless you're somebody who's real regimented, 
in their their diets. Uh, a lot of times when we start the diet, we start to actually lower our protein intake when it should be quite the opposite. If anything, you should up your protein intake. So that can kind of fill in those nutritional gaps. Also, if you're somebody who is vegan, somebody who is vegetarian or just eating an overall plant-based diet, a lot of plant-based protein sources are not gonna be complete amino acid sources. So it would actually definitely benefit you guys to supplement with the EAAs, um, just again, so you fill those nutritional gaps. So short answer, do you need it? Absolutely not. Um, is it gonna up your game? Maybe, if you're somebody who works out that hard, if you're somebody who's looking for that extra 1% in each aspect, yeah, probably could benefit you. Now, do I use them personally? Again, yes, as I said a couple times earlier in the video. I use them mainly when I want to do fasted cardio, because I'm not somebody who likes to eat a meal in the morning and then go run on the track, but I'll definitely slam down some EAAs. Like, I'll sip it while I'm running. Um, usually I'll have like half of my shake of it before, and I'll have half after. But again, it's not something that you need. There's definitely far better choices to make if you're looking for supplements to increase muscle mass and increase uh, performance output. Creatine, as I've said a thousand times, creatine is my favorite supplement there is. It's the most research, it's the most shown to actually make uh, the positive changes that you're looking for with muscle hypertrophy and strength output. Yeah, short answer, do you need it? No. Um, if you enjoy it, keep doing it. It is a little costly, especially when you're buying EAAs as opposed to BCAAs. Um, so that's another thing, you wanna factor that into it. I mean, is it worth the cost if you're somebody who's on a budget? No, I, I wouldn't say buy EAAs. If you're somebody who's really kind of strapped tight and you wanna spend your money on more uh, 